Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at embedded and linked files inside Illustrator documents. I'm just going to open a file so we can have a look and see what the problem is. I've created this file that has a image inside it and I'm just going to click to open it. And all of a sudden we've got a problem here because Illustrator can't find the linked file called bear.jpg that is inside that file. The reason for this is that it was linked inside the file. So there's just a little link inside the file that says if you need this bear.jpg image, you can go and find it over here. The problem is that I renamed the file and so Illustrator is going to have a look in the location for this file bear.jpg and it doesn't exist because it's got a new name. Now this kind of issue happens when you send a file to somebody else that has something linked inside it. They try and open it and then they can't see what you see because they don't have the linked file because it's back on your computer, not on theirs. It doesn't travel with the Illustrator file. So they're confronted with something like this and the best that they can do probably is just click ignore. So they're going to get a file but it's going to be minus the piece that you thought you were sending them. Here it is in the linked file area, it just doesn't exist. So let's have a look and see how this happens and how we can resolve it and there are a couple of ways to do it. This layer is meaningless now because it doesn't exist in this file. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Let's add a new layer and let's do what I tried to do. What I did was I chose file and then place. And I used this file here which was once called bear.jpg and has now been renamed to be sketch of bear. So I'm just going to click on it. Down here you'll see that enabled is the word link. So what I'm doing is I'm just linking to this file inside my Illustrator file. I'm not actually putting this file inside it. It just looks that way. So let's click place. Let's go and put it back pretty much where it came from. So what it was initially was it was just really a tracing image for this file. I had it in here so I could easily trace it and create this little bear. So he initially started off pretty much at the bottom of the file and what we did was I used him to trace. I'll just double click on this layer and set it up back the way it was. So it was a template and we used it to draw over the bear. Now if I try and send this to somebody this is the problem. In here it's marked as a linked file. As a linked file it won't travel with this image so it won't be there when I send it to somebody else. There are a couple of things that you can do to resolve this issue and one of them is to turn this from a linked file into an embedded file. To do this you would choose window and then links because you want to be able to see your links and here is my links panel. Here is the linked image sketch of bear. If I want to turn it from a linked image into an embedded image so that this JPEG is actually inside the Illustrator file, we'll travel with it. I will click the fly up menu here and just choose embed image. Well it's on a locked layer so I need to unlock that layer first. Let's go back and do that again. Embed image and now it's embedded. It's gone from being linked file here to image. When it's image it means that it's embedded. When it says linked file that means it's just linked. So that's one of your options is to actually go ahead and embed the image inside the document. Now there is another way to resolve this but what I'm going to do is first press Control or Command Z to undo this because I want to get back to this being a linked file because we won't see this option unless it is a linked file. So let's just lock it down. It is now a linked file. Let's see how we could solve the problem a second way. When I go to save this file I'm going to choose file and then well I'm going to call it save as because I've already saved it. So let's just call this bear with embedded file because this time we're going to embed it but I'm going to show you how to do it. I'll click save. In this Illustrator options dialog the dialog that generally you just ignore and just click OK is an option called include link files. So if you select include linked files then this file, this sketch that was linked inside this image will then be included in the Illustrator file 
when it is saved. So it's going to be available to anybody who opens this file. Now this option won't be selectable, it'll be grayed out if you don't have any linked images in this file. So that's sort of like a heads up. If this is an option and if it's selectable, that means that you have some linked files inside your file and if you want them to travel with the file, you're going to need to select this to do so and then just click OK and then the JPEG image is going to be embedded inside the Illustrator file and it will travel with it. So a couple of ways that you can resolve the problem. Really important when you're sharing files with others, if you want them to be able to see everything that's in the file, you will need to turn any linked content into embedded content one way or another. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and YouTube's going to let you know when I release new videos. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. My website is projectwoman.com.